Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another example dealing with sum and difference of cubes here. So we've got to factor these two expressions. So starting with this one, we've got x cubed over eight minus eight over 27. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna rewrite it. <clears throat> when I see something like this, I like to separate the fraction or the coefficient and the variable like that. Right, so I just took that one over eight and just sort of put it in front here. And now this here, we can actually rewrite as one over two x to the power of three minus two over three to the power of three. Right, because one over two to the power of three is one over eight, then x to the power of three is x cubed, and then two over three to the power of three is eight over 27. And now that it's in this format, we can use the difference of cubes formula because we know that a cubed minus b cubed equals a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. So the a is this one half x, and then the b is this two over three. So this would be one half x minus two over three then we'd have one half x to the power two, which would be one over four x squared, plus two over three times one over two x, the twos would cancel out, so we'd be left with one over three x. Then two over three to the power two would be four over nine. Like that. Right, so this here is the answer. That's the factored answer to this over here. I just wanna quickly make sure that everything is all good here. Just a quick final check. And yeah, everything does look good. Right, so that's the final answer to this. That's the factor form. Now here, we're gonna have a sum of cubes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to take this and you know what, I'll rewrite it here. I'm gonna rewrite this as one over 64 x to the six plus eight over 125, y to the three. <clears throat> so same thing like I did here, separate the coefficient and the variable. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to rewrite it. Actually, I'll just write it over here. Um, this would be one over four x squared to the power of three, right? Cause one over four to the power of three is one over 64 and then x two, to the power of three is x to the six. So this expression and this are the exact same thing. And then over here, I'll have um, eight over 125. So this would be what? Two over five y to the power of three, right? Two over five to the power of three is eight over 125. And then y to the power of three is y cubed. So this here is a sum of cubes. And we know that formula is this. Okay, so basically the A value is this, the B value is that in the brackets. And so using this formula, we would end up with one over four X squared plus two over five Y. One over four X squared to the power of two, this part right here, this would be like, well, one over 16 x to the four, right? One to the power of two is one, four to the power of two is 16, x squared to the power of two is x to the four. So this would be one over 16 x to the four minus two over five y times one over four x squared. That would be two over 20, which would be one over 10 x squared y, like that. Right, if I take this and this, multiply together, the A and the B, I'd end up with one over 10 uh, X squared Y plus two over five Y to the power two would be four over 25 Y squared. And so that there ends up being your final answer. That's the factored form for that expression.